Good morning, WMS students. This is episode five of Eagle TV, and also the first day of spring today. And we have two weeks until the end of quarter three and spring break. Now off to Brooklyn with breakfast and lunch. The breakfast this week is on Monday, cereal, Tuesday, breakfast bagel, Wednesday, mini waffles, Thursday, breakfast sandwich, and Friday, oatmeal bar. And for the lunch this week, we have pizza calzone, teriyaki chicken, a walking taco, hamburger, and Salisbury steak. Hi, I'm Ava, and I'm back with this week's weather. On Monday, we have a high of 43 and a low of 26, and it's going to be sunny. On Tuesday, we have a high of 47 and a low of 27, partly cloudy. On Wednesday, we have a high of 51 and a low of 35, partly cloudy. On Thursday, it warms up a little bit to a high of 54 and a low of 44 with some showers. And then finally, for Friday, we have a high of 52 and a low of 36 with some showers. Welcome everyone to the fun fact segment of Eagle News. Today I'm going to talk to you about a species of, a species of cattle called zebu. Factor 1. Zebus were made for life in the harsh tropics. Besides being able to withstand the high heat and humidity, the hump on their back is similar to a camel's in that it serves as a source for fat to be used for energy if food is unavailable. Also, zebus are highly resistant to viruses and parasites, making them ideal as domestic animals. Fact number two. Zebus are the only cattle that live in tropical rainforests. They originated from the rainforest of the Indian subcontinent, but were later easily introduced to the tropical areas of South America and Africa. Fact number three. People eat zebu meat and drink its milk. Their waste is used to feed crops and heat homes. In some parts of the world, rodeo bull riding is done on zebus also. Fact number four. Zebus are easy to spot because they have a hump on their back. Zebus also have a flap of skin under their lower jaw and ears that hang down. Thank you, Daniel, with the fun facts on the zebu. Now off to Lydia with event. I'm Lydia, and I am here with the events for this week. The 20th through the 24th is Penny Wars, so make sure to bring your coins to your EL classrooms. Coins are positive and dollars are negative. The second event for this week is on the 22nd is Hats Off to Reading, so make sure to wear your hat. With seahorses, do males or females carry the babies? The males? Good job. If tomato is a fruit, does that mean ketchup is a smoothie? Mm, uh, no, it's a drink. Because I'll tell you why. Because watermelon is also a fruit, but when you uh, stir it up in that blender, it turns into a juice. It's just a drink. So. I think that's still a smoothie. Thank you, Mark. Are you joking me? <laughs> Road work ahead. I sure hope it does. Oh. What does an alternator in a car do? I don't know. I don't know anything about cars. Oh, okay. What's your favorite flavor of applesauce? The normal one? I, what type of question is that? What? Thank you. Where do you want to travel? I want to travel to Amsterdam because it looks so pretty in the pictures that I saw earlier. <laughs> um, it's not so much the where, it's the who's, who I'm with. I, I would be willing to go anywhere as long as I'm with the right people. What's your biggest pet peeve? Uh, definitely people that chew with their mouth open. Valid. What's your biggest pet peeve with your students? Uh, it's going to be when I ask them to stop talking. They're usually like, well, I'm not the only one talking. And really, I just want them to, you know, stop talking. My students insisting that they must use Google Translate in order to get the exact same information that is on their vocab sheet word for word. Valid. <laughs> when I give instruction and then they ask me 10 minutes later what we are doing. Nice. Or when they ask... <laughs> what time we're getting out of class when it's on the board. And those were the teacher interviews for this week. Now off to Lydia with senior segment. I'm Lydia and I'm here with my seniors for my senior segment, Ava and Noah. My first question is, what are your plans after high school? 
I'm going to browse the job market for a while. I'm going to go to Grand Valley to be an education major in the fall. My second question is, what was your favorite class in high school? Art class. I liked English. My third question is, what is your favorite sea animal? Megalodons. There's little sea slugs that look like bunnies. So. Good answer, Ava. Megalodons do not exist anymore. Thank you. I'm Ava, and I'm here with our 10th grade student of the month, and I'm here with... John. How many years have you been at this school, John? Since kindergarten. And what's your strength subject? Um, I would say my strength subject is basically um, math. Oof, that's a tough one. Do you have any advice for people who want to be student of the month someday? Um, work hard. That's some good advice. And what's your favorite color? I would say my favorite color is blue. Thank you, John. I'm Ava, and I'm here with our 8th grade student of the month with... Riley Smith. How long have you been at this school, Riley? 10 years. And what's your strength subject? Math. Do you have any advice for people who want to be student of the month someday? Just do your best, even if you don't want to. And what's your favorite color? Green. Thank you, Riley. What time does a duck wake up in the morning? At the quack of dawn. And that was episode five of Eagle TV. I'm Brooklyn. I'm Honey. And we'll see you next, next week. week.